morning children children today we are going to start with a new chapter that is conjunction okay by the name conjunction it means that it is a word that joins two nouns or two phrases or two sentences in other words we can also say that conjunction is a way to shorten the sentence okay instead of writing two different sentence if you talk in the context of sentences so if you want to write uh, two or more sentences so we can use conjunction okay to prone, uh, to make our sentence short also and whatever you want to say that can be that can come in one single sentence there are some conjunctions but in your course it, it is the conjunctions which are there are and but so or because nor and if let us start with and and is used to show addition addition means to add something okay to add another sentence and make it one we use and this is one condition suppose if i say my brother wants to become a scient uh, writer full stop my brother also wants to become a scientist so these are two different sentences but what we have done here we have added and conjunction to make it one how my let us see my brother wants to become a writer and a scientist now here we have shortened the sentence by using and let us take another example if i want to say that uh, i like to eat an apple and an egg every day so instead of saying that i like to eat an apple and i also like to eat an egg every day instead of doing that ways we have shortened the sentence and we have used uh, i like to eat an apple and an egg every day okay another adjective is nor nor is used to say not okay to say not in a sentence we use nor it uh, actually represents a very negative idea okay let us take example of it my father does not get angry at me my father does not get angry at me nor does my mother so the sentence is saying neither my mother nor the father my father gets angry on me never they don't get angry on me okay next is but but shows uh the contrast contrast means to tell something to tell uh, represent any idea that is opposite suppose if you want to say that we went to the theater but we could not get the tickets for the movie it means that we went to the theater this is one sentence but what happened the opposite of it is we could not get the tickets for the movie okay let us take one more example if i say uh, i like banana but my sister likes oranges okay now here the sentence says is telling you the opposite or you can also say i like white color but my friend likes black color okay so both the sentences are in opposite are going opposite way but we are joining both the sentences with the help of but okay let us take another one or it shows an option now here or gives you two kind of a thing it tells you about to choose an alternative between an idea or if you have any choice suppose if i say do you like chocolate or toffee so here you have to make a choice between a toffee and a chocolate so here you have to select one okay another kind of example is be there on time or you will miss the bus so here is uh, another one here it is saying an uh, a result also either you be there on time or you will miss the bus okay this is an idea coming up another one is so it represents a result i had not done my homework so i apologized my teacher why did you apologize because i did not do my homework okay so here so is telling you about that uh, it is telling you a result okay of result of anything which has happened i did not i have not done my homework so i apologize my 
teacher so in other term you can say that's the reason if we use this word no we use this phrase that's the reason i was telling you you did not do your homework that's the reason i scolded you are you getting my point so instead of using those words that's the reason i use the word so you did not do your work so i scolded you similarly i had not done my work so i apologized to my teacher thik next is because very very easy one it's the easiest conjunction it is just to give a reason when you ask any question and you want an answer you use the because conjunction riya gets up early because she goes to bed early okay uh, let us take another example she uh, is wearing pink dress because her favorite color is pink okay why is she wearing pink dress because her favorite color is pink pink okay so it is giving an answer because gives an answer the last one is if we use if when there is a condition now condition if you will do that this will happen if means similar uh, to tell us about a condition if involves a condition if it is sunny tomorrow we can go to the zoo agar if if it is sunny tomorrow if you will study i will buy you a present okay if okay i will buy you a present only if you study this is another way of telling the if, uh, conjunction all right so here are seven conjunctions which i have uh, explained so go thoroughly and do your work